was she had done? She had gone out there and networked and got herself out there and got people to know who she was. So, 
um, styrene works as well. I mean, really, you need to find the material that you're the most comfortable working with, because it really doesn't make a difference what material you're using, as long as you can get the vision of the costume out there. So and if you're happy with it. Yeah. What's the most idiot-proof one? The most idiot-proof, I don't I mean, fiberglass is probably the most difficult, whereas like making it out of styrene and using different kinds of glues to stick it. Um, uh, my friend Kai, he, make, he makes the guns, and I do the swords and armor. He did. Uh, he makes these guns out of styrene uh, over a, a like an airsoft gun base, and he uses this stuff called green stuff to patch the patch the uh, green stuff. So, hmm? green, stuff. green stuff. Green stuff. Yeah. Okay. He uses that. We use Bondo. Bondo works as well. But the thing about styrene is it's not as durable, but it will last longer and be more durable than Wonderflex. Okay. So it really depends on what you're making, but you can try styrene and maybe try fiberglass. Sculpt something. Well, to be honest, fiberglass actually like when Molly taught me how to do it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so hard. And then I was like, oh, this is toxic paper shit. This is like <laughs> <laughs> so I mean it's not that bad, it's just awful and you never want to do it again, but you will because it's the best. Okay, thanks. Yeah. So if that helps, and if you have any questions, email me.
obviously, I know I've heard you say, you start with whatever you want, do your, do your stuff. You know, and you get here and you're like, wow, I feel like shit. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> so, no, but like, what's a good place to really, where's, where's stage one? What do you do when you say, hey, I'd love to be Commander Shepard next year, but what do you think? <laughs> okay, so that's that is a really difficult question because my one of my first costumes was actually like recycled Renaissance bear claws. <laughs> I was supposed to be like a tiefling from D and D. I know, yeah. <laughs> so I just kind of made something up, put it on, and did it, and it was fun. But then like it was, we actually did the Comic Con masquerade with me and a couple of good friends, and we that was my first thing I'd ever done at Comic Con. And I went on stage, we did a skit, totally heckled with office case with, with office with a guy in a Cthulhu paper mache mask and big glasses. <laughs> yeah, we call them office face Cthulhu. It's on the internet. Yeah. It was, I mean, like, we were just like, whatever, we're just gonna do it. You just have to have absolutely no shame if it's bad. Like, no shame. And you have to know, like, okay, this isn't perfect, but next time it'll be better. And that's what I told myself when we didn't get any awards. And I was like, well, I didn't get any awards because the costume was bad. <laughs> I was like, I didn't get any awards. And then the, one of the guys was like, no, but it was a good start. And I was like, I'll be back. <laughs> The more you do it, the more like you'll get better at it. So even like an Ash costume is a good start because you did a great job. And it's you can tell Pikachu. We know you're Ash. Yeah, we know you're Ash. You're like you're walking around, you're like, I don't know what that is. I just hold this in front of people. I don't like I don't expect about me. This morning I was scary, okay, I didn't have a Pokemon, and everyone wanted to take pictures with Umbreon over there. And I'm like, you know, she's my Pokemon, I'm the guy. <laughs>
Hey, uh, uh, Mark. Uh, Hi, Mark. Uh, I've got a quick question. Like, uh, towards like getting into cosplaying and such, what would you recommend for uh, like maybe jerry rigging a vacuum forming machine or just like something like uh, as an example, trying to make more of like a Man Two robot tester or something? Yeah, that's vacuum forming. I, I try not to mention it because so many people can do it and don't have the facilities. So I'm just like, it's okay. Like, it's awesome though. If you can, like, because I, like, I used to work at a kind of animatronic prop shop and they had, like, massive ones. And then I don't work there anymore and I was like, oh no. <laughs> what am I going to do? But actually, like, if you find a local prop shop or something, you can usually ask them. They'll probably, they'll probably let you use it if you ask them really nice. But um, if you want to make your own, everyone, if you don't want them, he has an excellent, Woo! yeah, he's awesome. You know, pop in. Yay! But he has an awesome uh, uh, tutorial on how to make your own vacuum pull machine. And it's like $100 in tester coils, so if you're like an electrical engineer, you have a friend who yeah. knows about mechanics. We actually have tank if you want. So, yeah. So I just look online, there's tutorials. You can also do it in your oven. I don't recommend that. <laughs> this is the Stormtrooper guys, but at a... Yeah, some of you guys have also done like other ones too, so. What would you recommend in place of that if you can't do it? In place of vacuum pouring, I would recommend making the armor out of fiberglass. So sculpting it and then either molding it or casting fiberglass on top of it. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Come here, sir. Come on, I'm sorry. Come on, I'm sorry.
sorry, costume. Are you planning on like going to cancer events and showing kids, you know, look how cool I am and I beat cancer? You know, because I think you know a lot of people are afraid of people in costumes. And starting out in an in an arena where you already have a foot in the door might be a really good way of almost humanizing cosplayers. <laughs> Honestly, it'll, 
it'll be and it's a lot of variety of all latex, you know, prosthetics and all that stuff will be it'll be really fun and interesting rather than just like grinding fiberglass all day running this stuff. So yeah. I'm looking for a web series. I hope you all watch it. I'm looking for a web series. I'm writing fun times and Jessica stuff just paints a lot. Yes. Awesome. I'll see y'all on the costume all day. I love the wig. I almost got my eyes poked out by those horns. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 